Hello, my name is Goldspin. Today I'll be sharing with you how you can easily um, get this canvas backdrop on your images. I know most of the times we have the issues of coming up with this nice um, blur kind of background effect, this canva kind of background effect that's really is amazing. So if you have not purchased um, um, big if you don't have those expensive money to get those stuff I can show you how you can equally do the same and get the same almost like the same results in Photoshop now this is the results you will be getting out from this tutorial but I will show you so I'll delete it and take it away so okay now if you have not subscribed to my channel please do because i'll be releasing videos weekly on my channel here okay i'll try and stay consistent to give you latest because i know everybody knows about retouching but i'll be coming up so, with some tricks and tips on how you can easily do things on photoshop so feel free to stick around and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos that will be coming in weekly okay so let's start by all right, quickly, we have to move to where we have the file. Once we click on open, locate where your background is. For me, mine, I kept it at desktop. Scroll down to where you have your texture. As you can see, I have mine here already. So I'll scroll to where, okay, this was the B5 I used. So just simply click on it to load. And then when it reflects here, you can double click on this background just double click on it and it will show you layer just click on ok now for you to move it it's very simple just hit on it then move it to where you have your image and drop it can you see just like that now you can click on command t or ctrl t on your keyboard it will give you this size just rotate it around okay so uh actually enlarge it okay so as soon as i'm done enlarging it i'll click here for okay and i'll give it time to load to size now once it has low to size i really don't want this line and all this stuff here so what i'll do is simple i'll click on my patch tool i'll pick on my patch tool then i'll circle it to remove this stuff out i'll click here also to remove this stuff out because i don't want all this stuff it's really distracting Sorry about that. So it's it's easy. Just follow the procedures. It's very easy. All right, one more. Okay, now we have gotten this nice um, background effect. Now, all we have to do is to come to where we have the blending mode. This normal. I'll change this normal to, let's see what works. Now, we'll come here and change it to, we'll start with light. We'll go to screen. We'll go to color bond. We'll go to lighter. We'll just keep changing to what we like. As you can see, overlay gave us what we want now. If we come over to soft light, it's not really revealing what we actually want to go for. Hard light is not a good option anyway. Not that it's bad, but overlay works maybe nine times after the time. Overlay works very well. So now, as you can see, it's affecting the model on our face, but that's not the problem. We'll fix that. Now, all you have to do is to come to where you have this uh, blur. Come to blur. Come to Gaussian blur. And you can keep your radius very low, depending on what you're going for. To me, I prefer using this four. You can equally go to zero and start moving around to what you really, really want. Now, I'll just keep mine at 3.8, depending on what I'm going for. 
Now, as you can see, it's all blurred out in the sides, but it's also affecting the model. Now, to fix that, just click on where you have this mask here. Click on it and basically change this guy to black so that you can hide the effect revealing on the shirt. Now, pick your brush B. Make sure your opacity is and flow is at 100, 100. Just zoom in to brush off the skin now you can take your time to do this for the sake of the fact that i don't want this tutorial to be too long so i'll just make it fast you can make your nine selection to brush it very well now as you can see We've been able to affect just the background alone. Okay, now we've been able to affect the background alone. Now, this is the effect that we actually have. Sorry, it's affecting the hair. Now, as you can see, this is affecting just the background and you can also reduce opacity if you feel that the effect is too strong now if you actually want this to be more like you want the effect to be strong you can just come to where you have this and duplicate it click on it and drag it to where you have this plus sign and leave it there you see that it will actually double just like you saw if you feel that the effect is also still strong you can just come to your opacity and reduce opacity to just give you a subtle effect like for me i prefer not too much so i'm very like this and you can just click on this one and hold and shift on your computer and click on the second one then come over to where you have this button here yeah, screw to group or you basically just press Ctrl G, like me, I like using shortcuts a lot. Now, if you toggle off and on, you observe that the effect is only revealing on the background. Sure, you get it's only revealing on the background. Now, if you feel that the effect is also still strong, you can also come down to your opacity to just drag it down a little bit. I feel it's too strong, so I'll drag it down a little bit. Now, as you can see, I have been able to come up with this nice vintage canvas backdrop so you can equally get this file under the link on the description below i'll try and leave the link down below so you can equally get this uh, backdrop this and uh, texture background okay what i've done is that i have kept like 20 um, I've made available 20 of this texture so you can be changing on your different backdrops to make it much more easier for you It's just for you to support the channel. You can just go away with this one. It's fine Or you can get the full 20 at a very low price for you to just get it and also It will help you to change up all your plain backdrops so you can easily come up with this vintage Because vintage backdrops are really expensive. So it will call down your expenses when you get this texture for your backdrop so do well to click the link to just purchase anything you want thank you and god bless you